What's up, everybody? This is Lucky Loco with the Lucky Loco Show, or Indigenous Talk. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the two different lifestyles of of hustling. Okay, so I've been hustling ever since I was a little kid, selling whatever, okay, allegedly. Um, so, the two different things about it, man, is obvious. You know, um, the money is probably a lot better in the in the illegal game. But man, the money I make, I get to have, I pay my taxes, I build my credit, I'm free on the streets, I'm out here providing for my family, I'm out here feeding the community, and it's a whole different world. It's kind of, you know, in the food and beverage world, to the other world so the food and beverage world you're out here advertising you're out here getting word of mouth you're out here causing attention especially being the only native american like hustle go-to place for fry bread indian tacos so being the only person out here uh, eliminates the competition. I mean, I really want other people to come out here and start making some money too. And I can't just be the only one out here in Yakima hustling. I mean, there's got to be more people that come out, come get it. And if you see somebody else that's non-native and it, it makes you angry that they're out here selling Native American food, then get up and get out and go, go do something. Go make a mark in the world. I mean, it's it's a uh, you gotta face your fears and get into it. So let's get into the illegal world. So the illegal world, you're always gonna have to worry about snitches. You're always gonna have to worry about people plotting to rob you, uh, selling you fake whatever when you when you go re up. Um, people wanting to send you to the spirit world. It's I mean, it's not even apples and oranges. It's completely different um i take a lot of pride in the accomplishments that i'm making in the um in the uh legit world i mean being able to feed homeless be able to take care of families being able to buy uh <clears throat> buy stuff for um a, a mexican family that just came in with uh with nothing, so we went and got them a bunch of stuff, and it's all donated out of pocket, out of my pocket, this is when I had the restaurant, and I had it like that, and well, I thought I had it like that, should have been saving up, but you know, it's a, it's a whole different world, whole different game, um, I'm on the news now, for like, and news, and newspapers, for whole different reasons, other than being caught in drug stings, being shot, uh, charges, uh, just all this stuff, you know, and went from running from the cops, hiding from the cops, to now serving plates to the cops, to the firemen, to the nurses, to the, it's, uh, you know, just people traveling from California to Toppenish, Washington to come get some food. Like, that is just, it's amazing. And being able to feed people from around the world, like I had, uh, a guy from Germany that couldn't speak English, a few people from uh, Austria that came in, a guy from uh, London. I had, man, I had so many people try my food, and it is such a blessing, dude. It is amazing. And then to hear the feedback from the food, you know, it's, I guess it really shouldn't be no comparison from whatever, whatever I was doing before I started doing this, because... With this one, I am completely legit. I'm never, like I said, my other ones, I'm never ever hustling again in the illegal fashion. I don't care how broke I am. I'll go get on some food stamps. I'll go get a job at, you know, if anything ever, ever like if I ever fall and get to the area to where I need to make money, I'm patient. I'll go stay in a homeless shelter, go sleep in my car. I really don't care if I need money to be to be your friend. Then we didn't we weren't friends in the first place, as you can tell. But yeah, that's just you know just accumulating all this stuff, and it's. Uh, I had a friend tell me that every overnight sensation is about ten years in the making. 
I'm almost four years into the business. Um, and I am going to... Look where I came in four years. Where do you think I'm going to be at in four years from now? So this is just a journey. This is what I'm going to be doing. This is what I'm always going to be doing. And I pray my kids, uh, you know, help. I pray my kids find a better way in life. And you can already tell that they're like still such great kids to where they don't even think about doing what I was doing. You know, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. Uh, being out here in the free world and not worrying about anything other than bills, uh, catering jobs and just, you know, just chasing that money being an entrepreneur. We don't have, I don't have that comfort of getting up and having a check at the end of the week. If I don't get up and go get it, then I don't get nothing. That's the whole thing. So you always got to be on your toes and you always got to be ready to go out there and go get it, man. It's, uh, it's, a world where nobody's going to pat you on your back. You're going to have to pat yourself on the back. You're going to have to trust in yourself. You're going to have to invest in yourself. And you're going to have to face your fears. It's scary. Like, even now, like, I put so much faith into it that, you know, if I spend, if I invest into myself, because anything that I buy now is all for self-investment. Truck. Haul my food trailer in the background right there. And I was all for trying to get a brand new food truck and get out there, go be in Yakima and being all this stuff. If I'm on the reservation for a few more years, that's fine too. You just gonna have to come travel to come get some food if that's where you're gonna want to be at, or if I do some pop-ups, that's what I'm gonna do. But I am not sweating getting a brand new food truck, stressing myself over it, losing sleep over it, and asking for these loans and lowering my credit. When it's hard to get a business loan, it's super hard. And it's to the point I can see why people don't go for them. Like, it's, uh, you know, they'll put me in debt for this car. They'll put me in debt for, for a house. They'll put me in debt for student loans. But nothing to help better myself. Personal loans, you get like 500000 bucks, whatever, fuck kind of shit is that that's enough to go get groceries and have to go make that thousand bucks and go back and have to pay that shit because if you if i get if once i get to like eighty thousand, i can turn that eighty thousand into fucking man a boatload of money because i'd be able to go to places other than the reservation so but i'm working on it i'm saving i'm not getting anything i'm not I'm being res responsible with with it now because I have to. If I want that better tomorrow, that better future, then I'm going to have to do what I got to do, man. Well, it's just a quick little, I guess, not really comparison of, like, man, it was a horrible life that I was living before, you know, before I went to prison. And I don't wish that on nobody, man. If you're in the game, man, find a way to get out of it because... There's no happy endings. There's no, oh, I made, you know, this amount of money. Now I'm going to quit. No, people ain't going to let you quit once you get in that deep. And and once you're in that deep, guess it's not only just the cops and robbers. You got the feds coming at you. And the feds is a whole different animal, man. Uh, start crossing them state lines. Start doing all these different, uh, different stuff. And I watch these shows that like glamorize the whole lifestyle like i watch power and laugh at it because you know they have all these like hustlers going around often i don't know it's i mean it's cinematic it's funny it's funny to watch but for somebody who doesn't have common sense and be like oh i could get that apartment i can open up a nightclub and whatever but anyways i'm rambling i'm gonna go ahead and drink this coffee and get ready for work man I appreciate you. Hit that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And go ahead and comment. Support the channel. See what's cracking. Let's blow it up. Let's get this channel going.